So we're out here throwing some top water today, and as you can probably tell, we're not anywhere near the shore. You know, the part of the country that I'm from, it's a pretty big thing throwing top water baits over brush piles and stuff in open water. You know, meaning the brush piles are out off of humps or, or points or anything like that. And those fish, they'll get in that brush, and a lot of times they just sit there and they just wait on the bait to come by. And when they do, that's when they come up and school them because all they do is they just come up out of the brush and they just push them to the surface. Today, I think is ideal conditions. Um, we got a little cloud cover, um, you know, just a little bit here and there, just a little bit of chop on the water. I love throwing spooks in open water. If the conditions are right and everything lines up good, those fish will come a long ways to hit that top water bait. But it's something that you can do all day. There's something about, you know, that big spook just lazily walking over their heads, even in high sun. It's a deal where you have to have some clear water because it's a sight deal. At least six to eight foot visibility. The dirtier the water gets, the shallower you have to go. So it's definitely a, a clear water deal. You know, the boat positioning on, on this style of fishing is so, so important. Uh, you know, your cast have to be very accurate. If I know my target is out there, I know where my target is, I don't want to get my boat right up on top of it. Ideally, I want my target to be halfway between me and the end of my cast. The bait's going to be working long enough that they're going to know it's coming. When it comes to rods and everything, to be able to really launch that bait out there is important. Just a good, at least a seven foot rod. I want some tip on there to be able to cast that bait. That's the whole deal. This rod has is, is got a good parabolic bend. It's got a good tip on it, but you can see it loads up really fast. So that tip is gonna allow me to really launch that spook out there. But then when I hook that fish, if he does bite it on the end of my cast, I've got enough backbone to get those hooks buried into it. Trust me, you can have some dynamite days when the sun's out and you know when you get the conditions right, little bit of chop on the water, you can have some great days on top.